The Career Services Office presents Leveraging Law School Activities to help get you the job. This program will include tips and reminders on how to leverage law school involvement when looking for and applying to jobs. Let's first define our terms, and this is fairly obvious. So law school activities will refer to clinics, journals, student organizations, moot court, trial practice institute, and any other extracurriculars that you might engage in while you're at the law college. We hope that after watching this program, you will be better able to highlight and talk about your law school activities so that you can show your value to potential employers. We will go over how you can do this on your resume, in a cover letter, during a job interview, or while networking. We also want you to consider how these experiences can broaden your network and help lead to job opportunities. These experiences do make you a more desirable candidate in the eyes of employers. These are some quotes from attorneys in a recent Vault article. Mock trial, moot court, clinics, and other hands-on experience is a huge plus. Beyond grades, examples of leadership and focus on community service rank high. In addition, employers like to see leadership skills. More than two thirds of employers said they look for evidence of leadership skills on a resume. Indication of these skills on a resume include holding a leadership position or involvement in extracurriculars such as student organizations. When presenting these experiences to employers, you want to maximize their impact. To do that, think about what a particular experience can specifically show about you and what you can offer that employer. First, what skills did you strengthen? Did you gain any legal skills such as legal research, drafting legal documents, explaining legal concepts to clients, advocacy in a courtroom? So for clinics, moot court, TPI, and journals, you've almost certainly gained some of these legal skills. Have you gained any relevant non-legal skills such as project management, public speaking, creative problem solving, if you are looking for JD Advantage or non-legal jobs after graduation, think about how the skills you gained could be transferable to a new role. You could also think about any specific training that you received, whether it's formal or informal. Were you trained on client interviewing or other skill sets? Next, consider what positive traits or soft skills that this experience can show about you. As we mentioned, leadership is a desired attribute. So do you have roles that show leadership? Do you hold an office on the board of a journal or in a student organization? Or even if you don't hold an office in an organization, did you co-found a new program or start a community outreach project as part of your student organization involvement? These are activities that can show leadership and initiative and being collaborative. Next, these experiences can show that you would be a good fit for a particular organization. It can show an interest in a particular practice area. For example, if you are a member of the Criminal Defense Association and are applying to a public defender's office, could it show that you are a good fit for the employer based on substantive knowledge? For example, um, in the tax clinic, did you learn about IRS practices and procedures that would be relevant if you're applying for a summer internship with the Office of the Chief Counsel of the IRS. How do you best showcase these experiences on your resume? Employers use your resume to get a quick idea of your credentials and whether they want to meet you. I'm sure you are already doing this, but include at least some law school activities. In addition to the reasons that we already talked about, it helps to show that you are a well-rounded candidate. You do want to tailor your resume to each particular employer and might choose to emphasize specific activities that are especially relevant to that employer. Do add whatever law school activity or involvement on your resume as soon as you start. For a position that you will not hold until the next school year, for example, a 1L who finds out that they will be on a journal, you could include journal name, title, and note the month and year that you will officially hold that position. In general, law student resumes should be kept to one page and have two sections, your education and experience. You may also choose to include an optional third 
or additional sections for all the relevant information. This section should have an appropriate title based on the nature of that information. Clinics are valuable experiences for law students. There are only two summers during law school, so experiential learning during law school, including clinics, are an important way to gain practical experience, which is very attractive to employers. This is especially true for small firms, government, and nonprofit employers who may not have the resources to train new attorneys and look for practical experience to show that you can hit the ground running. Do include clinic experience under your experience section and craft bullet points just as you would for any job experience. Make sure to keep track of what you do and learn in your clinic. You may already be required to keep a journal or create time entries. Refer back to these to help you craft your bullet points. When you craft these bullet points, do remember to think about what value this experience can show, such as hands-on legal experience, research and writing skills, direct interaction with clients, court or administrative hearing experience, interest or knowledge in a practice area, or exceptional experiences or successes. Clinics can give you an opportunity to have some unique experiences and talk about a success. A recent example from an MSU law student was trying and winning an appeal at a state Supreme Court level. Here are some tips for drafting bullet points. When you describe what you did at your job, add enough detail to show the knowledge and skills you developed or used. Listen to these examples and consider which ones do a better job of showing the skill set of an applicant. Research legal issues versus research various employment law issues, including wage and hour disputes, employee benefits, and disability discrimination. Review documents versus reviewed and evaluated relevant and applicable privilege of discovery documents in a tort liability class action. Drafted pleadings versus drafted numerous pleadings, including a motion to quash and suppress evidence in a complaint for malicious prosecution. I believe that the second set is stronger, and that's because the applicant shows that they are familiar with substantive areas of law, provides examples of uh, their experience drafting specific types of documents and does a better job of showing their legal skills. You also want to describe accomplishments where possible. So you could say researched and wrote motion for summary judgment, but if that motion is granted, make sure that you can maximize and highlight that success. A better option could be drafted successful motion for summary judgment for dismissal of medical malpractice suit for $25 million. This is an example of clinical job experience on a resume. Feel free to pause the video here to review this example more closely. Next, we'll talk about how to include your journal experience on your resume. Here are some tips. Include your journal title and role under your education section. Publish note or comment. For that, create a publication section after your education, but before your experience. Or you can include a publication subheading under your education. And you would like to list any kind of published note or comment in Blue Book citation form. For student organizations, use the full name of the organization and not an acronym. If in the title of the organization, um, MSU Law, is included, um, that abbreviation is fine. Do include your position, especially if you're on a board or have a title. If you are a general member, you can simply include member or leave off if you don't have any other titles at other organizations. Now, you have a few options for where you can choose to include this experience. Under education is the most common, and some folks include subsections, including uh, honors, awards, and activities. The next most common is under that third other section, and that might be titled Leadership or Volunteer Experience. Just remember not to duplicate any of the experience. So if you include your student org in one section, you don't want to repeat it in another section. In some less common circumstances, a student may include their student organization involvement under their experience section. So this could be for a 1L or student that does not have much legal experience, um, but has a leadership role in a student organization. 
So check with your CSO office, your CSO advisor if you're thinking about doing that. These are two examples of including your student organization involvement under your education section. The bottom example includes an activity subsection. When writing your cover letter, show the connection between your experiences and the role that you are applying for. Include your clinic, journal, or student organization experiences to show relevant skills and your fit for a job. Here are a couple examples. I have valuable legal experience. I currently work at my law school's immigration clinic. I researched and drafted sections of an appellate brief recently filed on the Board of Immigration Appeals. In another matter, I regularly communicated with a Cuban client using my Spanish language skills and was able to gather facts for our case. Through my work in the housing clinic, I have developed strong client communication skills. I have interviewed over 50 clients regarding their legal issues and explained their options. While you prepare for interviews, don't forget about your law school activities. Practice talking about them. Think about what you have learned and accomplished in these roles. This is an example answer to a typical question at an interview. Tell me about yourself. I studied accounting and decided to go to law school after I shadowed a tax attorney in my hometown. In law school, I've chosen classes and experiences to help me toward the school. This past spring, I worked in the law school's tax clinic where I interviewed clients who are low-income taxpayers in controversy with the IRS. I am also involved in my law school community as a member of the MSU Tax Society and Asian Pacific American Law Student Organization. Through my involvement in the Tax Society, I volunteered at a pro bono program to help people file their own taxes. At that event, I met Patricia Smith from your firm, and from speaking to her, I learned more about the great work and culture of your firm. Highlight your law school activities while networking. As you know, LinkedIn is an important networking tool. Your audience includes potential employers. Add your law school activities to your profile. Include the experience and your role. You can add this experience as soon as you start. You can also take advantage of the fact that you are not limited to one page, as you are on your resume. And you can go into more detail about your responsibilities and accomplishments. Leveraging relationships. Through your involvement in law school activities, there are opportunities to build relationships with others here in the MSU law community. This includes faculty, staff, law school peers, and lawyers. Many law school activities, like clinic or journal, give you the chance to work closely with the faculty supervisor. Make the most of this. Professors are great resources and can also point you to other great resources and contacts. They can also help you with your job application materials. For example, you can ask them for an opportunity for a writing sample or ask them to read and review your writing sample. You can also ask if they would write you a letter of recommendation or for a clinical professor if they would serve as a job reference. You want to do good work for them and build relationships so that they have enough to write in a letter that shows that they actually know you. Law school activities and student organizations in particular are a great way to meet other law students and upper classmates. 2Ls and 3Ls have experiences to share, classes to recommend, summer and internship advice to give. And these are going to be connections that you may call on for the rest of your career. Law Review and other journals are another good example of where long-term connections are formed. Through opportunities such as moot court, you can also meet practitioners who are on the ground practicing law day to day, know the legal industry, and who can talk to you about what they do and what career advice they have. Essentially, through law school activities, you can have an opportunity to establish relationships where you can gain a mentor or even a sponsor, someone who will advocate for you and the quality of your work and work ethic in terms of helping you find a job. You want to build and maintain these relationships, reach out and chat, keep in touch, connect on LinkedIn. Also, you can be proactive and create opportunities for yourself through your law school involvement. Law school activities are a great way to create opportunities to meet people that you want to meet. Say you're on the board of the Middle Eastern Law Students Association. You can organize a meet and greet or virtual informational interview between students and attorneys in the community. Or if you are a member of the Criminal Defense Association, 
help organize a speakers panel and use that as an opportunity to reach out to different public defenders and learn more about their offices. We have now come to some concrete action items that you can take away from this program. Select law school activities that align with your interests and career goals. Add experiences to your resume and to your LinkedIn profile. Build and maintain your network via your LinkedIn and informational interviews. Meet with supervisors or professors to ask for a recommendation and review writing samples. Thank you for viewing this program and please reach out to the Career Services Office if you have any questions or need any help with the career planning or career development.